Hello everyone and welcome back to the Dark Flintstone Plays Life is Strange Before the Storm. And we're playing episode 2, Brave New World. And it's going to be the same spiel as the last episode and the last three episodes of the first part where I'm going to be playing for an hour and a half. I'm going to take a break and then we're going to be playing the rest of the episode with a little... Uh, skip to the main menu at the one hour point just in case it goes longer than predicted but I think about three hours should be in, in the ballpark of of the possible I mean the last episode was three hours and 20 minutes 25 minutes something like that so we had Oh, excuse me. An hour and a half part and an hour and 45 minutes part or two hour part, whatever. So that should should be well enough. I'm gonna head back to the main volume. All right, so episodes, Brave New World. Let's start this. By the way, I actually did get a uh, an achievement for that skull on that, that little girl that we drew. Previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. So sorry, we're late. My my shift ran late at the diner, and then just sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process, and the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. is violated... reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? An agreement was broken. Do you recall what that was? Uh, no. Uh, yeah, I totally forgot to mention this in in the intro to this episode. We're playing this game on evil mode. In case you couldn't tell if you're watching this on YouTube by the title, which means we're going to try to choose the worst possible 
answer to or the worst possible thing to get the worst possible outcomes because I've never actually played that just being a you know a cunt bucket to everyone I usually just played it the way I would have done my or the way that I would have chosen so I want to see what happens if you're really just an asshole to everyone okay uh, is that a rhetorical question or do we really have to answer that or we could just say nothing uh, don't screw up. Now we're gonna go with, is that rhetorical? Are you asking or is that rhetorical? Disrespectfulness. <laughs> we agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. He did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it will become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Oh, In shit. Subordinate language. Disregarding posted signs about... Volume too low. Okay. Okay, let's see. Settings. Audio. Okay, I'm gonna set it to to that uh, RFK JT23 and you can tell me if it's if it's fine implications of possible drug related activities what does that mean yes what does that mean it means miss price has developed a reputation as a user of marijuana and i would strongly recommend you take a careful look through her room at home shall i continue Okay. Good. To sabotage the academic yeah, because the... of one of our top. Students. I'll let him finish, and I'll talk a little Victoria bit. Victoria Chase. Okay. Uh, yeah. The problem with the audio is, I usually have the audio of my mic on max, so I have to put all that a little bit to, you know, the the volume a bit to to lower the volume so it doesn't hurt my ears. But if it's too loud for or too too low for you guys, then okay. Uh she cheated. Ah yeah, that's where we Right. Right. In the last episode we had the chance uh, to basically Victoria asked us to do her homework and we basic literally told her to fuck to go fuck herself by using the uh the the chemical you know, chemical names on the on the on the chart. Uh, let's go with fuck that. You're fucking joking, right? Victoria tried to cheat off me, and I stopped her. You should be thanking me. Chloe, watch <laughs> your language. But mom, these outbursts only compound the trouble you're in, Miss Price. For her plagiarism, Miss Chase might have been suspended. Chloe. You tried to get someone suspended? Might have. If Mr. Prescott, Nathan Prescott, hadn't spoken to me on Victoria's behalf, and we have witnesses saying Miss Price was also involved in a bullying incident of the same Mr. Prescott. <sighs> the hell I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. What do you mean? That's true. That's what we did. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. Okay. I get it. Basically what happens with Drew, his father was laid off because of Nathan Prescott's dad, and that somehow, I don't know, justifies everything. Uh, reassure mom, or we can just go on with calm wills. Uh, uh, question, what do we do? What do you think, RFK? What should we do? Try to calm the principal or try to calm mom? We could calm, calm mom. But I do wanna wanna get uh, get into a fight with the principal. Yeah, 
You don't know. Okay, let's reassure Mom. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? Chloe, now is not the time. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I never do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. <laughs> I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Will you forgive me? Ah, okay. Uh, of course, or for what? But since we're playing this on evil mode, we're gonna say for what? For what? You didn't do anything. Your willingness to stand by me, even now, is truly inspiring. What? Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Damn. Miss Price. Uh, bullshit or you're fine. We're gonna go with bullshit. Complete and total bullshit. Chloe. <laughs> you're an awesome actor, Rachel. You almost convinced me, and I know you're lying. But come on. Miss Price. Miss Amber. One of you girls better start telling me what actually happened, now. It's fine. Really. You're right. The truth is, I didn't convince Chloe to ditch with me. I practically forced her to. <laughs> Come on. I was feeling angsty and reckless. Tired of living up to the perfect image everybody expects out of me. I told Chloe if she didn't come with me, I might do something crazy. Like what? Graffiti, steal alcohol, maybe even abuse marijuana. I didn't, thank God. But that's only because Chloe was there. She looked out for me, even after I threatened her. I told her I would blame her for everything if she didn't come along. I knew it would be easy, given all of the prejudices against her. Uh. Now... This is some serious... Chloe, I told her. If you get blamed for this, you will be in serious trouble. Serious trouble. Whereas I, having a perfect record at Blackwell, will not. Think about it, I told her. And don't do anything you'll regret. Anyway, that's what really happened. Oh, Rachel... <coughs> I'm glad we have finally gotten to the bottom of this matter, though the revelation brings me no pleasure. Miss Amber, I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of the Tempest. Uh oh. Oh. <sighs> okay, what are you insane? Or the performance is tonight. Uh, really? Graffiti, drinking, and uh, smoking pot? That's the worst thing? That's the worst thing they can come up with? I can think of things that are far worse. Like, I don't know, uploading a video of a made of a person at a party, which then drives that person to suicide, or at the very least, thoughts of suicide. Hmm. Okay, what are you insane, or the performances tonight? Uh, what are you insane? Sounds like a more evil option. What? 
Are you insane? Your discipline is still pending, Miss Price. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. <laughs> oh, shit. How fitting. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is such What was that, Miss Price? Bullshit. Is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Ah, okay. Go along with Rachel or take the blame. Mm, okay, since this is an evil playthrough and since I want to do all the confrontation options, we're going to take the blame. We're going to try that. Rachel missing the play for me. But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. To succeed, uh, okay, in back talk, listen to your opponent, choose, okay, yeah, I know, you already told me that in the first episode. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe, <laughs> you seriously <laughs> think yesterday was Little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Uh, accept reality. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? Uh, you should confess. Confess. Uh, she wants attention. Uh, you should confess. Wells, you should confess to falling for her crap. I don't blame you, though. She's one hell of an actress. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. Uh, you don't tell me. Uh, you do you. How about you don't take credit for my shit? You don't see me claiming I did my homework, do you? Because that's your stupid... I dragged Rachel into this. Sorry for making you, uh... Ah! Uh. Fine. I shouldn't have taken ah. out of class. If I'd known she couldn't handle it, I would have gone it alone. Why speak up, Miss Price? Your words do not exonerate Rachel, but they do further implicate you. Leave with a bang. Ah, shit, okay. Okay, I'm the worst. Ah, shit! Ah! Oh. Wrong choice. Damn it. That's enough. Your loyalty to each other might be admirable. But nothing else about your attitude or behavior is. <clears throat> My decision stands. Miss Price will be suspended for the rest of the school year. Miss Amber will be cut from the play. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. Ah, uh, well, that's... Well, that is a, a, a first for this playthrough. It's the first time that I've actually lost I'm sorry. one of the, the talkback options. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price. I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I'm I'll see you in the parking lot. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. 
Just you and me. Hey, Skip. You know I was supposed to have today off, right? Sorry that my totally fair and impartial hearing inconvenienced you, man. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Okay, but first, let's look Better at all that stuff. Go from the rescue shelter. And Aww. we got run over by a car. Yeah, Bongo. Moral we all of the story. No one's ever really rescued. Uh, we all remember Bongo from in their backyard. Okay, let's take a picture of Bongo. See a homework. Now nah, I think we can leave that. Ah, oh, we can trash that. Let's see what she has to say. Every time someone tells me how much potential I have, it's right before saying how I'm wasting it all. F. Let's see, Chloe. I need to start seeing more effort from you, or you're going to fail my class. Let's see. Let me lab. Right up. Okay. It doesn't say which teacher it was, but I'm assuming it's Miss Grant. The quality of your work lately simply doesn't speak to the amount of potential I see in you. I know you're better than this. Yeah, we used to be an actually really good student until until our father died, and then basically everything went to shit. Okay, let's see, the pencil case. My graffiti pens. <laughs> You've served me well. Okay, let's take a look at the signature. I wonder who will grace this space after me. Sign. Okay, but we don't get, we don't get a, get an achievement or anything. At least I don't think so. And it's not part of the, the graffiti ops. That's only if it actually says graffiti on the options. I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh well. Let's see, a locker. Having Justin as my locker neighbor was one of the few not shitty things about this place. Let's see, what's that? Our oh, chemistry book. Yeah. Let's trash all of that. Trash geometry. Uh, let's see. English book. Let's trash that. Who needs English? And there's our stash. Jackpot. Wait. What the hell? Damn it, Justin. <laughs> hey, I had to borrow your stash. Desperate times, you know. I promise I'll get you back next week, Justin. Ah. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me. Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? Subordinate principal wells.
<laughs> Interesting expression, by the way. I'm not sure if she's she's horrified, if she's actually, or if she's actually kind of, kind of impressed. Turn the volume down one, and that should do it. Let's see, well, how many? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Okay, that's half. Awesome. Never okay, let's nice. see. Mom. I'll never send. Alert system. That okay. Okay, let's see, mom. At my wits end with you, oh yeah, Elliot. Let me send you the cam. What? Yeah, Elliot's kind of creepy. Okay, that's the wildfire update. Wells. Anybody, please. Okay, that's just a general message to all to all the students. You are you're a hello weird. You are seriously will get revenge. Hmm. All right. Do I have any new mess? So just ah, goddamn it! I wanted to look at the graffiti up. Clean lens, driver's seat, hood with a view, clean lens. Did I skip that? No, I couldn't have skipped that. There was no way you could. The drugs are free here. Man, why didn't anyone tell me before? Feet of a drug-free zone, purchase or sale of drugs is a felony, except, as I've already said, in the first part, we know that pretty much everyone does it. Hold, yeah, I know. Blackwell's criminal element strikes again. Better go before Wells pins it on me. Cigarette butts. But whenever I needed to bum one, no one here smokes. Place. Okay, let's look at the flyer. No more extracurricular activities. Enter the Vortex Club. Be part of our cult. Well, uh, not not now, not now, because we've uh, we've sort of established, or in the first part, uh, in in a wake, it's kind of established that the Vortex Club before Victoria. Uh, became a senior before they they became seniors all all of those people in that that class or that semester whatever uh, the vortex club was actually a really really like sort of sort of a hippie kind of thing and victoria basically turned it into this this crazy weird ass cult someone's trying a bit too hard with those bumper stickers Bone Rick Muadib Muadib Yeah, that's uh, I think that's some 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 title, some Islamic title or something, if I remember that correctly. Sticker. Let's see. My other vehicle is drama. What? L.D. Byron. 
Okay. Elliot. Okay, let's see. Let's see what happens. Hey, Elliot. We talked to Elliot. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. I uh, was suspended. Wait, really? Holy shit! I know. I'm surprised it took this long too. Do you want a hug? What? No. The fuck is wrong with you? Let's not make a big deal out of this. Oh, sorry. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks for Rachel too. She was kicked out of the play because of me. She'll live. Harsh, man. Anyway, what are you doing here? I figured I'd see the Tempest anyway. I was going to text you, actually. I got two tickets in case you changed your mind. Oh, thanks, I guess. Yeah? So you in? Might help you take your mind off things. Uh, no, I'm still gonna pass. You're kind of creepy. Sorry. Oh, that's cool. Maybe we can hang out instead? Nah, I think I'll just chill at home. I better go. <laughs> My mom is waiting to stick her attack mustache on me. Her boyfriend. Don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. Yeah. Later. Yeah, Elliot's kind of creepy, and, uh, spoilers, it's gonna get really, really weird and fucked up at one point. I think it's actually in... I don't know whether it's it's it's, it's in Brave New World, or whether it's in uh, Hell is Empty, the next episode. Max would have loved this shit. Visual concepts, enter into a composition, ceramics... Ah, definitely. Three guesses whose bike this is, and they all start with Miss Grant. Damn. I guess I will miss one thing about this place. Sci you know, science doesn't care what you believe. Exactly. Don't make me use my teacher's voice. Ahem. Wells' car. Crushing spirits must pay pretty well. You know, she doesn't have anything to say about that. Nope. Bigfoot. Taking pride in Blackwell Athletics means taking pride in yourself. Also, the trustees and their enormous bank accounts. T sir. Was that? Yeah, I think that that's Nathan's truck. Okay, let's see. What? Driver's seat, hood with a view, or is that all? I think that's stuff that's gonna gonna come. I don't think we have the option to tag something quite now. We still have uh, plenty of free time to take up skateboarding again, if I feel like it. Fair bottles. Damn time. David, please. That's what they do best here at Blackwell. Empty things out and toss them aside. Okay, I think I've seen everything. Right, let's see if we've missed anything here. No, we don't want to go that way. Drug-free zone, we've already did that. Oh, no. Okay, we can't. Can she doesn't have an opinion on on that car? All right. Maybe they'll use my scholarship money to finally fix this pothole. Ah, <sighs> uh, you can see here all that stuff that's patched up. All right, let's talk to let's talk to her mom. Your mother and I have been talking. 
Uh, I don't care. I don't care. I know. That's what we need to talk about. I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. She's my mother, or what? Or what, asshole? Or what, David? What will you do? You do not want to test me. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? Like how to have no job? Or how to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? Someone need, needed my help, or nothing wrong with that. Well, there's nothing wrong with working at a diner. There's nothing wrong with waiting tables, Mom. Chloe, I'm proud to wait tables because it means you can be whatever you want to be. But what is that, Chloe? What do you want? Figure it out. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I care about Joyce very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the incident yesterday. If you improve your attitude going forward. Incident? What incident? <laughs> oh, yeah. Chloe was incredibly out of line. She insulted me. Swore at me. But with an apology, I'm willing to start over. Uh, yeah, since we're playing this on evil mode, uh, no, I don't think so. Are you still going to date my mom? Of course. And will you still be coming to our house? I plan to. Then I say, go fuck yourself. That's what I thought. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. Excuse me, what? What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, you can't be serious. David and I have discussed it, and we feel this is the only way for us all to have a fresh start. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. Ah, okay, so this is one of the... The big decisions. Comply or refuse? Well, we're gonna refuse. Definitely. Sure. Here you go. Show me a warrant, asshole. <laughs> you watch too much television. Your refusal to comply is as good as an admission. I admit to you being a fascist, and I don't take orders from fascists. What happened to trust being a two-way street? That was before you were suspended. Somewhere along the way, we lost our trust. This is not the way to get it back. Not at all. Okay. That's it? She's basically admitted her guilt. And you're letting her off the hook? I am not letting her off the hook. I am trying to find a way for us to move on. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. W what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. 
<laughs> oh no. Oh shit. No fucking way. Chloe, after everything that's happened, uh, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. I know I fucked up, or you're trying, I get it. Uh, well no, saying I know I fucked up, that would be an admission. But we're playing this on evil mode, so... Uh, you're trying, I get it. I'm trying. I get it. I, I swear, I do. And I've been making it harder for you. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. Ah. Uh. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. Yeah, but the problem is, we know what a stable home is like. I mean, it's not like our dad ran out on us when we were like a year old or something. We spent 12, 13 years with our real dad. We know what a stable environment is like. There is no home. So it's a little bit, uh, uh, words fail me here, but you know what I mean when David says, you know, you need a stable home. You need to know what that's like. As soon as her tantrum is over. It's, uh, yeah. Ways up when your whole life has been turned upside down. And we're back at the old junkyard. And I'm assuming that's where we can do the, the graffiti ops. Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? got something. This beast will ever run again. The first thing it needs is a new battery. All right, let's see. New message from mom. Maybe, maybe 
Titanium. Ah, oh, fuck. All right, let's see. Uh, clean lens, driver's seat. Hood with a view. Well, let's just walk around and see what we can do and what we can't do. Shoebox. <laughs> cool, there's a bobblehead. Nice. That's car. Fuck me. No, not going over there. Let's see. Bat. Okay, we don't think we can do anything with the baseball bat. Boat. Climb. Okay, maybe we can find something to get us up there. Pallet prop up. Ah, okay. Makes much more sense now. Shit. Oh, shit. And that well, well, it wasn't us. That was Rachel. We're not the ones who kicked over the, the burning trash can. Head. Ah, graffiti. What do I want to tell my fellow sailors of the seven trash heaps? Uh, buried treasure or burial ground? Hmm. Uh, let's go with buried treasure. Got it. Let's see. Ah, hood with a view. Ah, that was that. Okay. Climb. Get it? It's supposed to be a reference to, you know, the whole thing in the first part with the butterfly and the tornado. Or at least I'm assuming that's what they were going for here. That it's a similar situation. Alright, let's see what else we can do here. No trespassing. 
What, what's that? Sorry, Max. I think I'm more jealous of you than anything. All right, that's Hopefully, the camera. I'll be escaping this place soon, too. Let's see, can we take a look at the... Okay, no. I thought we could take a look at the mannequin again. Wow. I should angry graffiti more often. Yeah, that's actually kind of cool. Glass looks way prettier when it's broken. Wonder what else that's true for. Beer bottle. Puddles, bottles everywhere, and not one beer to drink. Okay, let's see if there's anything useful here. Let's see, that looks pretty. This is no good. Yeah, that one looks pretty busted. Alright, let's continue. Here, rug. This rug has some miles on it. Okay, I think. Let's see, okay, we can go that way. Don't want to leave yet. Okay, we can't go that way. Forget what I just said. Alright, let's see. What? Yeah, objective. Get battery put in truck. Christmas lights! Cool. I don't have a place where even Christmas looks depressing. Now this is a vortex club I wouldn't mind joining. Remotely ball. Yo, and then Victoria takes over and it becomes a creepy ass cult. You're a long way from the country club, guy. I know one fire that doesn't need any poking. Radio, turn on. Some good music. Okay, but... Can't a pirate flag? Wonder if there's treasure buried nearby. Exciting is the perfect word, Stan. Thanks to a generous donation from the Prescott Foundation, Blackwell has begun shifting its focus to fine arts. That sounds fantastic, Amy. We'll also be adding a fifth year of classes to offer students a jump on collegiate level creative skills. This semester we've added theater and next year we're adding You've got to be a batter under one of these car hoods. Okay, can we go? Wasn't there a way to get in? Okay, it was that. But we can't go in right now. I'm just going to leave the radio where it is. So I'm going to turn that off. Okay, we need something with the lens. Clean lens and driver's seat. I think driver's seat, if I remember that correctly, is the thing that we can do to the own to our own car here. Uh, you. That way. Ah, the mannequin head. I guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. Oh, you you haven't seen anything yet. I wonder if I'll ever ride one of these again. Just 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 go go on YouTube and Google uh Dragon Lord. Watch a few watch a few minutes of that guy and Yeah, you'll 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 get pretty angry, let's just say that. Yeah. Let's 
see a sign. Don't tell me what to do. Make it a great day. I always wanted a pet snake. Instead, I got David. Fuck everything. Okay, but I think we need a light bulb at some point. Uh, let's see. Has that got a battery in it? This one won't work. All right. See what's that? I used to love opening up the diner with mom before school. I guess those days are now officially over. What police notice? Wow. <laughs> Shitty ride, drug dealer. This vehicle has been seized and impounded in execution of warrant slash order. All right. Okay, let's take a look at that hood. What are you trying to hide under there, hood? Looks pretty clean. Pretty new. Okay, the latch. Might not be a bad idea to do that. Finally. Here we go. The pick of the litter. Yeah, let me just... <laughs> Yeah, let me just tuck that behind my back, and and that means I I have it saved somehow. Here's the side of Arcadia Bay they don't put on the postcards. Okay, we've already seen the towel. Max and I used to go there all the time as kids. I think it shut down, but who knows. See, I don't think the whole lens bit. Clean lens. Driver's seat. Unless it goes from right to left. Alright, let's get back to the car. more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. Rachel. You really don't. Really, really don't. Mom thinks I do. See you really soon. You better. Okay. Alright, let's see. Broken bulb. Yep, we can use that light bulb that we found. We'll go back. We got the singing man, the bobblehead. 
a oh, rusted floorboard and and leave <laughs> okay let's take a look probably a good idea to cover over this with something while an escape hatch could be nice I should probably cover over this massive hole yep but we can already place the singing man You can hang here, but I get to pick the tunes. Okay? Good talk. All right, let's leave. Okay, for Luke, I can find something else to fix inside the truck. Compared to for Luke, I can find something else to fix inside the truck. What? A rusted floorboard. Oh, okay. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Forgot the light bulb. All right, so I mean, we already sort of know what to get. Let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. Mannequin hat, school bus. Uh, I think the towel. This could cover that torn seat. Yeah. Look awesome doing it. It smells like ratchet. Yeah, there was the light bulb. You might not work. Then again, I hardly ever work. Light bulb and let's see that rug we saw earlier. I think if I remember that correctly, no, it wasn't here. Rug. Where's that rug? Oh, it's over way over there. I think that's that's the one that we can use to cover up that hole. See that's the bat. Toy robot. It's all fun and games till this guy enslaves everyone. Well, rug was not here. No. Here, there's the rug. Today, you begin an exciting new life as a floor mat. All right. So, let's see what else. Driver's seat. Yeah, I think we have to do. All right, let's see. Light bulb. Uh, rug. And the smelly blanket. Yeah, that totally fits over the entire the entire seat. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still. How sweet would that be? Yeah? Frank, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? What about? Oh, uh, like drugs? Frank. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard, that's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And 
Frank? Uh, burner phone? Is everything cool? Okay, there isn't really an evil option here. Uh, we're gonna ask if everything is cool. I'm not in trouble or anything, right? Uh, I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? Like, in general? Or to you? Uh, mystical or frightening? We're gonna choose frightening. This will give intruders something to think about. Yep. Okay, then I totally missed the clean lens. Screw it. Okay, what's the next one? A sweet hideout and shopping list. Let's turn on. Does your truck look like an aquarium on wheels? <laughs> Didn't think so. Uh, shouldn't that be a terrarium? I mean, don't they usually have the the red the red heat light? Horn. Ah, I want the horn, god damn it. Bobble. Does Principal Wells eat pizza with a fork and knife? <laughs> I knew there was something off about that guy. You know who does that? A synth. Oh, let's see. Open what? Oh, there's something in here. Let's take a look. What do we have here? Ah, that's the beanie. This'll do. Cool. Okay, singing man. I don't really have any other options. Except smoke. Okay, we can't honk. Technically, we're all about to die, if you take a wide enough view of things. All right, let's smoke.
shit. I slept all day. What the what? hell? We're about to die? What the hell? <laughs> ah, that's that one. That's actually a really cool scene. quote unquote campfire against that huge wildfire. That's an interesting interesting image. Dad Problem is, I really, really, really don't want to use the evil options because uh, it's our dad. Uh, but we have to. I said I was playing this on evil mode, so we're going to choose even with our dad, our dead father, or we're going to be a total cunt. Let's look at the fire first. I wonder if it burned like this the day the day it happened. Did the thing really burn? I don't think so. I think it was just smashed in. Do I feel like Roasting a marshmallow? Yeah, sure, why not? Let's take a marshmallow. And, like every sane and rational person, burn it to a crisp. Don't do it right, just burn it. so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us, just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence, with loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. Sometimes, there's a greater beauty yet to come. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> ah, shit. Yeah, I remember. I don't know why, but somehow I remembered that just now. And I wasn't sure, again, I wasn't sure whether I just remembered this wrong 
or if that actually happens. Uh, but that's that's a great scene. And remember how she's always talking about how awesome fire is, and he's talking about how that can be, you know, blinding. And in a way, it's sort of. I'm just gonna pause that for a moment. Uh, in a way. It's when he says, you know, fire is blinding. She herself... I mean, okay, we're obviously playing this on evil mode. We're obviously making the decisions, the evil decisions on purpose. But, like, if this were a real person, obviously the... Uh, her actions wouldn't... Like, she wouldn't understand the adult perspective on it. Like, people like David and, and the principal... They're actually, they actually are trying to reason with her, but of course when she's 16, uh, yeah, you don't really, when you're 16, you don't really care about that stuff. So, that's sort of the, the idea of fire blinding her. She's blind to the actual reasoning behind a lot of their, their arguments of the adults. So, yeah, I kind of like that, that metaphor. If that was intentional. And I'm not just reading a whole bunch of bullshit into it. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. Lol. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? Uh, of course we're not sure. Well, I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not supposed to give rides to strangers. What if <laughs> I promise you free candy? Hop in. Ooh, yeah, definitely free candy. Just some junk I found lying around. A rainbow towel? A freaky red light? That is dark. Too dark? Perfect dark. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. Escape? Yes, you'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also gonna need some money. You know, the buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually suspended you. Really? I'd say it's like the most believable thing that's ever happened to anyone in the history of forever. I'm just so pissed about the play. How could they let Victoria Chase jack your role? Because life is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Yeah, totally. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Uh, pretty, uh, what do you mean? What do you mean, us? Didn't we establish that we're just friends? What? Last I checked, you're the one who went all puff the manic dragon on that tree last night. What were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But come on, doesn't accomplice sound way cooler than accessory after the fact? <laughs> Is that the official Arcadia Bay DA's opinion? Accomplice it is. I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? Therapy. Therapy. 
You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, David Fire Blackwell. Okay, let's talk about David first. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks he's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm, that's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? Uh, step dick, step fuck, or step douche. Uh, we're going to go with step douche, because that's what she called him in, in the first part. He's a uh, step douche, because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, he's a douche. Poetic. May I also suggest stepladder? Why stepladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. <laughs> and pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of uh. therapist are you? <laughs> Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. Uh, I think she's turning into... To, to, uh... Hannibal Lecter uh, from the series, not the movies, where yeah, she's starting to insert herself in the, you know, with with uh, uh, Hannibal and Will sort of dynamic, where Will actually just wants to know if you know Lecter can help him, and Lecter then sort of turns this guy into his new, uh, I was gonna say pet, but like more like student. Okay, we got fire, we got Blackwell. Let's talk about Blackwell. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touche, Doc. Okay, let's talk about the fire. So my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Perhaps this friend of yours, who, I reiterate, must be just stunning, needed someone in her life to teach her. How to steal wine from yuppie picnickers? How not to give a fuck. Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That makes sense. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. Uh, play... Okay, play with... Meaning the the upcoming play that night. Uh, the fire and the truck. Well, we've already talked about the fire. Let's talk about the truck. Her sweet truck. new ride. That might mean I have life skills. Something I've really tried to avoid. Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. That's pretty badass. The 
do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? Interesting point that she raises, that all of that is a performance. Uh, spoilers, we will find out that this is, to some extent, actually true. Uh, you're not like him, or I won't let you. Again, we can't really, it's something that I've talked about uh, on other occasions. We don't always get the choice between the good option and the bad option. So I'm just going to say, I won't let you become like him. You just need someone around who likes you for who you are and isn't afraid to call bullshit when needed. Let me know if you find any candidates for the job. Shit, it's playtime. Gotta go clean out my dressing room for Victoria. Not exactly the role I thought I'd be playing tonight. Oh well. Hey, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lam. Drive safe, Chloe. We get to go into that shack. Nice. Mikey, who the hell? Oh, okay, Mikey. Heard you got suspended. Sorry. Roll against the wall. One against Wells. Get it? Steph says you're a nerd. What? We're not a nerd. Okay, but I don't think we have any okay. more messages. Okay, I'm going to turn the radio off. Cause it's kind of wall. Ah, we can do the graffiti. That would be, let's see, the sweet hideout. Okay, let's see what options we have. Okay, we have no options. Chloe was here. Yeah, and we know from the first part Life is Strange 1, not Awake. Junk fortress of solitude. That two more names will be added to this. Wrong way. Prop up. Let's see. Okay, but I'm seeing that I should see what Rachel brought me in her mystery bag. Yes, but we're going to do that after I take a little break cuz I see we're very close to the uh one and a half hour mark. 
counting from when I started started to play. So with that said, uh, thanks for watching. Ah, uh, Chloe. Okay, I'm gonna put on pause. Uh, as I was saying, thanks for watching part one of the Dark Flintstone plays before the storm, episode two, Brave New World, and we'll see each other in the next part.